guys, we're going to be starting a late night Adams set booster box opening. We actually have two boxes for us to open tonight. As you can see here, there's another one. So we have two boxes. It is going to be quite a lengthy video. I hope you guys will just chill out here tonight. It's been a very long day for me. So I'm not gonna rush through things. I'll just take my time and <coughs> go on a slow and steady pace in opening this box so aside from this box we also have two Zendika Rising promo packs and two Kaldheim promo packs straight from the hands of Sir Gary of Larua Natibapa so very thank you thank you very much to Sir Gary for these freebies we also got two Happy Chinese New Year, um, you know, packs. Um, what do you call these in Filipino? Uh, forgot what you call these in Filipino, but these have cards inside. They have the Realm Walker extended art foil by a box promo for our, the Cal Time set. And, well, actually, let's start off with this just so you guys can see what's inside. So, the contents the contents of these two envelopes actually are the same so you just need to see one so here's the first realm walker oh dear okay so we're actually we could actually use this as an opportunity to test out our focus Alright, there we go. I'm gonna turn off autofocus and try to find a perfect focus. There we go, that's a perfect focus. Fly, okay, and default. Let's go with this. So there's the realm walker. And here is a foil miniature token. 2 to foil miniature token that is created by this card. Sethorn. Oh, I didn't notice that everything's upside down. Here. Sethorn Hurlin General, legendary creature, miniature warrior, 3 red and a red. Whenever Sethron Hurlin General or another land token miniature enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2 3 red miniature creature token. And he has an activated ability 2 and a Grixis color. Minotaurs you control get plus 1, plus 0, and gain menace and haste until end of turn. So this is actually a new card. I think I've never heard of this card before. So this is a card specifically made for in celebration of the Chinese New Year. So that's a really cool thing. Thank you, Watsi. Thank you, Laruan, for these freebies. So yeah, I've gotten two of these because I got two set booster boxes from Laruan. Aside from that, I also got these really sweet Dragon Shield sleeves from Laruan. So they look really nice. They fit well with the, my Plant Angels tribal deck. So really excited to use these sleeves. So of course Dragon Shields, one of the best brands out there for anything magic or anything card games. So before we start, uh, let's get this video around. Let's share this to groups. Let's get let's get this shared in some related groups uh, we'll probably share this in Laruan I kind of actually have a lot of places where we can share this so because of the new what do you call this? new focus that we got in the settings as you can see the Kaldheim box right now is out of focus that's a consequence of that so just let me share this to groups so that we have more viewers and get people up there on our chat to talk about your favorite cards here in this set also uh, next month we are getting the time spiral remastered are you guys looking forward to that um 
Sadly, Laruan was only allocated a limited number of boxes for Time Spiral Remastered. And when Sir Gary announced about pre-orders, I was sleeping so I wasn't able to call dibs on a box. Because of that, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get one yet. Although I'm not very sure if it's something that I really want. I mean, there's no new cards there so if ever I want any cards from there then I should really just buy it as singles, right? It's cheaper that way. Sorry for this taking a bit too long. Just sharing this everywhere. Fresh from Sir Gary. So right now, since we're starting really late, my friends aren't around. <laughs> to, you know, usually when we do these box opening videos we have a group we have our friends over here at discord i'm still at discord but i asked my friends if they want to come over but i don't think anyone's up right now i mean it's 11 50 pm on a weekday so i guess i sh really should have expected that no one's going to be awake at this time although i don't mind it's really just fun to open these in front of the camera you know, there's a lot more thrill when things are being recorded instead of just when, you know, you go straight to opening them. There you go. So this, for our first box, oh there. Call that, guaranteed foil and art card. So this is the latest Wait, did we get set booster boxes for Command Commander Legends? I think we did. I think we got... Um, looking at the boxes that we have right now, the last set boosters we opened were from Zendikar Rising. We haven't gotten any Commander Legends set boosters. Were there set boosters in Commander Legends? can't actually remember. Alright, well, enough with that rabble let's open these boxes so just a recap there's always a guaranteed foil and a guaranteed art card inside for each of these packs so how many packs are these again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so there's going to be 30 10 each pile all right yeah i've forgotten the feeling of opening these boxes. Ah, I'm gonna put that aside for now. Alright. So let's start with this pack. Oh, they have a tier here already. On the side, but I don't wanna open it from there. I just wanna open it from here on the side. There you go. Oh dear, I really should be using scissors. A pair of scissors to open these packs. It takes me longer if I do that. Most of the time. Yeah, I really should get a pair of scissors. Wait a minute. There we go. For the next cards that we're gonna be opening. At least we have them. Okay. We have a snow covered planes for our art card. That's nice. Not really that exciting, to be honest. There's no covered forest. Shackles of Treachery. Golmo Cap Champion. Dwarven Reinforcements. Axe Guard Cavalry. And Spirit of the Elder Guard. Blizzard Brawl. Oh, Narfi. Uh, really nice card if you want to go Snow Tribal. In any format, it's a really good recursion card and also nice for decks where graveyards matter. Put that over there. Icebind Pillar, really good in draft. Blood on the Snow, our first rare. Really like using this in my Esper Angels tribal in standard because it's, it's just so value. Like if you get stuck in a rot, 
you're just looking in the face of your opponent. It's really good. Hellstorm Valkyrie. It's our first angel in our pack. I'm gonna have a separate pile for angels just because I love angels. So if you've been watching this channel for a long time, you know how much I love angels. There's our foil, a Volt Rubber. Not really that exciting. I'm actually gonna put the the, the, the lands over there. It's not pretty interesting. And there's our token. Ah. Our next pack. It's just been one pack so far. We're being slow. <laughs> Opening this box really slowly. Again, this is going to be two boxes. We've opened one so far. Our next art card is Run Ashore. Really nice. Snow covered forest again. Open the Omen Path, Stormenter's Helm, Eggy Mob, Breakneck Berserker, Random Mock, Marit of the Frost. There's our next legendary snow creature, Shapeshifter, Absorb Identity, Litarja, Mirror Lake. I'm gonna put all of the lands elsewhere. Oh, there's our first Mythic, Kaya the Inexorable. Really good card. I also use this sometimes in some variations of my Esper decks, although not all. Uh, it has its niche in standard. Kind of like the card, but it's not going to be used all of the time. Sorry, I'm just gonna check. Is my quality stuck at 380? Oh, that sucks. Well, there's our first meeting, it's just the second pack. A Pilfering Hawk and a Dust Grozer for a second foil. Oh, and then we got a card from the list. Doran, the Siege Tower. Really nice card for Commander. It's a Free Folk Shaman. Black, green, and white. What color combinations are? Is that Abzan? I, I believe that's Abzan. Each creature assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Oh, this, this really goes well with the last U. That card is fantastic. Alright, same colors as well. So for the list cards, I guess we're gonna put them elsewhere. There's space here. Um, probably gonna pile them up over there and put this over here. And third pack. Glittering Frost for our next art card. Actually, still haven't completed my art cards for. Uh, which which one was that for for Zendika Rising? So if you guys have extras, please send me. All right, uh, snow covered plains over here. Walk Robert, the scary firewalker, Immersive Rider, sees the spoil, smashing success, and Craven Hulk, Demon Bolt for our comments, and then we have a Lit Jara Glade Warden, and another rare Search for Glory. Not really impressed with this card to be honest boreal outrider of water and gray ravenous lindworm for our foil and there's another promo card are they just promo cards are is, is are they not foils oh oh sorry they're tokens as well so we're gonna put them over here the tokens are gonna be there for a while Okay, Cosima, God of Voyage, for our art card. Oh, it's signed. It's a signed art card. Just from our fourth pack, we got a signed art card. The art cards actually feel a bit flimsier this time around compared to before. I remember them being thicker. These ones are kind of a bit flimsy. And we got a foil snow covered swamp. Looks good actually in person. Not sure if it translates well in the stream, but it looks super good. Uh Undersea Invader for the next card. Squash, Cinderheart Giant, Gold Vein Pick, Itarja Kin Seekers, Berg Strider. And then we have a Glade Walker Ritualist. Not really interesting so much. Bloodline Pretender and our next 
rare Sigrid God favored. I like that card. I use, in, I use that in standard. Shimmering Veil. Oh, and a foil pathway. We got a foil pathway, boys. Not gonna sell this. I'm actually collecting the pathways. Oh, it looks really good. Got a foil pathway. I can't. I'm gonna say I'm happy about that. Been collecting all of the pathways ever since they got invented in the previous set. And our art card is Dwarven Reinforcements. Really nice art. I'm just gonna put it there. Ice Tunnel, Island Swamp, another Pilfering Hawk, Frostbite, Frost Picchetti, a Shimmer Drift Veil, Mistwalker. I've been killed by this card a lot in draft and MPGA. Depart the Realm, Usher of the Fallen. Oh, where are my angels at? Frenzy Raider, Vargoth, Blood Sky Sire. It's also a really big bomb in draft. Uh, if you see this card on your first pack, you better commit to black. And another Ice Pine Pillar. Bound in Gold, a foil common. Really good removal, especially in draft. And then again, the Magic Minigame promo card advertisement card actually if you think about it next pack we have AGR the freezing flame small red planes trial for a harbinger raven form augury raven behold the multiverse butter shield warrior come on my, my angels aren't appearing I, I, there are common angels and uncommon angels. How come they're not appearing? Rune of Flight, Rune Crown, the Bears of Litjara. Really nice saga. You know, the sagas here in this set are really good, in my opinion. So there we go. As the saga enters and after you draw your after you draw a step, add the lore counter, sacrifice after three. Create the 2-2 blue shapeshifter creature token with changeling. Any number of target shapeshifter creatures you control have base, power, and toughness 4-4. And in Saga 3, choose up to one target creature or planeswalker. Each creature with power 4 greater you controls deal damage equal to its power to that permanent. Glittering Frost. And a foil dual strike. Oh! Wow! We got a parcel vis. Uh, this is from Aquaria, right? Is this from the list as well? We got a showcase art parcel beast. Looks really good, but nothing exciting so much. So I guess I'll put this in the list pile because I'm not sure where this fits in. So I'm gonna put it there. I bet it's from the list. You can see the art. It looks so um, DC New 52 kind of artwork. If you watch, if you read comics, Carfell Harbinger, Sulfurous Mire, Scorn Effigy, Disdainful Stroke, by the Monster, and all Rune of Speed. You know what? I'm actually surprised. Oh, there's a Doom Scar. Really nice board wipe spell for white. You know, you don't get a lot of board wipes nowadays. So you have now, um, what's that card? I forgot. So we got double the rares in this pack. Uh, Circlant Flinger, Giant Berserker, and a Foil Smashing Success. We haven't seen a lot of alternate art cards yet. Are they not appearing in Kaldheim? All them set boosters, rather, is what I meant. Arnie Broken Bro. Actually, the art cards are, you know, just being, just piling up here. Not really that important. Alpine Meadow. Brian Bro, blah, 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 blah. You know what? I'm also getting bored now of looking through all of these cards. We're not getting any of our beloved. Angels, anyway. Waking the Trolls. A saga. 
Replicating Ring. This is actually a good card. You know, in draft in Kaldheim, it's really hard to color fix. So having one of these, if you're doing three colors, is going to be good for you. Oh, a foil Certland Frostfire. I don't know how much these go, but any land I'm gonna keep. So it goes over there. So far, we're almost finished with our first pile, and we've only gotten Kaya the Inexorable for our Mythic slot. So uh, I'm, I'm feeling kind of antsy now. There's the Kaya, the Inexorable art card, Snow Covered Island. Skull Raid, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gates of Istfel, Vega the Watcher, actually really good commander, if you ask me. Mm, na 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 na. Uh, Mystic Reflection for a rare. Oh, there's our angel. Well, actually, she's not an angel, she's a god. But I consider her as an angel, and I actually put her in my angel tribal deck. So I'm gonna put you over here, the angel deck. Also, really nice. Um, Modal card, the card at the back is really good for taxing your opponents. I'm gonna put you over there in the angel pile. Or pilfering hawk. A foil, Morit of the Frost. Changelings are. I'm not sure if changelings are in this year. Okay, for our last pack in this pile. Grim Devourer, Volatile Fort goes there, Rice Rigger, Infernal Pet, Village Rites, Priest of the Haunted Edge, and Red Rider, Dogged Pursuit, Dwarven Hammer, Forging the Tyrite Sword, In Search of Greatness. You know what? I thought this was going to be a really big bomb in draft, but apparently it's harder to execute than I thought. Probably it's stronger in Commander, but I haven't had the opportunity to use this because I don't really play green. Um, but, you know, a 2 to cast green enchantment spell with scry 1 for each turn isn't so bad. If you don't get to search your library with this, at least the scry would help, especially for green. So, yeah, that's a really nice card. Spirit of the Elder Guard, a foil and all. And a Hans Ericsson in our the list. Um, I have a question. What's he? Why are you including recently printed cards in the list? Doesn't that beat the point? Don't you think we already have these cards? So what's the point of giving us an opportunity to get these cards again? There's very high likelihood of us getting duplicates from your the list. It kind of beats the point of the list, you know? Just saying, Watsi. Well, anyway. Probably a Hasbro thing instead of a Watsi thing, so I'm probably barking at the wrong, uh, wrong tree. Uh, there's a Kovari, God of Kinship. Actually haven't seen that card in MTG yet. Nah, not in draft, not in standard, not anywhere. I haven't gotten a copy of that card yet. Snow Covered Island, Elder Found Disciple. Where are my angels? Come on, boys. Divine Gambit. You know what? This and Tibelt's trickery are two cards that they thought people thought is going to be breaking th stuff up or you know have lots of shenanigans but I haven't seen Divine Gambit but Tibo's trickery has been around in many decks so yeah it's supposedly Divine Gambit is going to be a crazy card for white but no it didn't turn out that way Trickster God's Heist Blessing of Frost for our rare Snow Sorcery, Grim Drugger, and a Foil Run Ashore. Actually, I haven't been um, placing our tokens in the right side up. Okay, there we go. Just in case we need some of those emblems in the future. Opening up our 12th pack. Uh, Toski, Bear of Secrets, and another foil, Snow Covered Land. Uh, this time an island. Oops, place it there. Just Sentinel, Glittering Frost, Elf Rogue, Roots of Wisdom, Adult Relief, 
Path of the World Tree. It's also a really nice card if you're playing some kind of Simic Control or Simic Tempo deck. The Tree Seasons, Showdown of the Scalds, Frostbite, King Harold's Revenge Foil. Alright. Not so exciting box so far. Still on our 13th pack right now. Still had gotten only one mythic. So I'm kind of getting worried now. Rhymewood Falls goes there. Rising Seeker. Yada 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 yada. Port of Carfell goes here. Girl the Forsaken, Feed the Serpent, Elder Fang, Death No. Gilded Assault Cart. You know, it's weird that this set has vehicles, but they didn't really go all in on vehicles this set. Oh, Resplendent Marshal! One of the better angels in this set, actually. I have four of these on my Angel Tribal deck on MTGA. It's a really good card. Priest of the Hunted Edge, a Foil Basil Ravager, and then another token. Uh, having a hard time keeping up with my movements. Oh, sorry, not that. This one. But still. Just one mythic so far. What's gotten into this box? Shadow covered, snow covered mountains. In Restoring Cairn, Skull Cairn, Roger's Helm, Carter, and Drum's Carge, Essica. That's our second mythic, Essica, God of the Tree. Turns into the Prismatic Bridge. Actually, really good card for um, ramp decks. Ramp Legendary Matters decks. Uh, I haven't really seen this at work on standard, so I'm not sure how good it is. But I'm pretty sure that's really good when it comes to commander, especially if she's your commander. Spirit of the Aldegard, Undersea Invader, and then a Dwarf Berserker. Alright, we have two mythics so far. That's on the low end, low side of things. Cosim again, Woodlet Chasm, Ravenous Sun Sun, Rings of the Cosmos, God's Hole, Chan Chan, Dumbstar, Titan, Clarion Spirit, Shepherd of the Cosmos, alright, there's another angel, goes there, Valkyrie Sword goes here as well, oh, there's our first extended art card and it's a mythic, Quake Bringer, this actually fetches quite the price, I think, uh, this is really good in draft, but you know, having an extra Extended art card of a mythic is always welcome regardless of the price. Look at that. It's a, it's a thing of beauty. I love it. Okay, things are starting to turn up for us. That's a really interesting card to get. Um, I've been hoping to draft that actually but never got in the opportunity. I haven't seen that card in tribal and standard as well so I'm not sure what kind of niche that card fits into right now although it's still a really good card to have 
useful Valkyrie. You also have this scorecard in Angel Tribal's deck. Star 9 Aspirant also. Oh, there's the Rampage of the Valkyries. One of the cards that I got most excited for when the spoilers came out. Really love this card. Mm -hmm. Great Hall of Starnheim also goes here. Wow, that's an Angel's pack. Righteous Valkyrie coming right up. Scary Firewalker and a Burb. Okay, time to um, fix up some of the cards because you're it's, start, it's starting to get crowded here. Um, I guess the foils can go screw themselves because they're just... They're just clutter right now. Also, the art cards can go screw themselves over there. Angels, really good. Righteous Valkyrie, also really nice card to have if you're going if you're gunning for an Angels Tribal deck. So anything that goes for Angels Tribal are here, over there. What's our next pack going to be like? Oh, Resplendent Marshall for the art card. Goes there. Snow covered swamp, giant ox, raiders curve. Ascent of the worthy is also. Uh, no, this doesn't go into an angel. Oh, yeah, it goes to angels. Furia, judge of valor. Another angel matters deck card. Uh, Renegade reaper, hillstorm valkyrie, vengeful reaper. Hello? Are these supposed to be like that? Are the angels supposed to be inside the same packs? Or is that. Rounding error. Graven lore. Really good card actually. And third grade, God of Pride. Also like using this during draft. I was able to use her in one draft and it this card won me lots of games. Not just because of third grid herself, but because of the lander. The lander is really powerful in draft. I'm telling you, it's really powerful in draft. Eyeside Troll. Also powerful in draft. Not will recluse and an ice fan cuddle from Modern Horizons 1. I didn't know this card was in the list, but this used to fetch a high price. Um, since no creatures are in vogue again, Nayon, uh, I bet ice fan cuddle is fetching a high price again, but I'm not so sure. It used to be expensive when Modern Horizons first came out. Next up. Oh, there's another quake bringer. Nice. Glacial floodplain for land. Raven wings. Starnheim Corsair. Salvard Valkyrie goes there. Blood Sky Burster here. Poison the Cup, one of the best removals here in the set. But you don't really care about it so much when you're just playing standard. There is Shadow. Return upon the tide, Thorn Mantle Striker, Cosmos Elixir, Frostbite, Frostbite, Strategic Planning, uh huh, Treasure. Let me back start since you heard. Again, we're opening two boxes tonight, so we're almost, we're almost one, two thirds through our first box. Oh, there's a sweet foil land. I always appreciate it when I get one of these. Foil Alpine Meadow. Battlefield Raptor. Invoke the Divine. Funeral Longboat. Best Gear Shieldmate. Don't really matter. These cards. Warhorn Blast. Other Fine Ritualist. Scan for the Shadow Sage. Scan for Other Hall. Another land. Cyclone Summoner. It's actually a really good card. Oh, look at this. In the Runeis Showcase card. It just looks beautiful, but. Yeah, I guess since they've become rare in this set, um, I feel inclined to keep it. So I'm gonna put it here in the list. Even though it's not really in the list. Shush guys, I make the rules here. And I can break them anytime I want. For the last pack on our second... What do you call this? Second pile. No covered in lantern mountain around there a good card in draft story seeker very value card can trade a lot and gives you lots of light masters called 
Call of the Worthy, I've cleared Braggart. This is also a really nice card for tempo decks on draft. Harold King of Scamfar. That's also a bump if if you're wondering. Also a bump in draft, but not so much elsewhere. Of an ambush. Or an outrider. Crippling Fear. Sculpture of the Winter. And a foil result outrider. They also made treasures better again in this set, but not so much. I haven't seen Magda yet. I'd love to see a Magda from these packs. Really sweet card. The dwarves are really fun to play here in this set. Snowfield Sinkhole, Comus Faithful, Demonic Gifts, Mask of Vandal, Dusk Wilder, Jasper Sentinel, Colossal Blow, Armed and Armored, Harold Unites the Elves. Oh wow, Hengegate Pathway Extended Art. Oh look at that, the Mistgate Pathway looks really good. Fantastic. I really love these art cards. Well, these aren't art cards. I mean, the art on the cards are fantastic. I love them. Look at that, really good. Call the Forge Master. Wow, Tyrion looks really nice in this picture. Look at that very stylized artwork. I love these kinds of cards. I'm gonna keep it here. We of the Haunted Edge. Just a foil that don't matter at all. So we're just up 3 Mythics so far. Can we do 5 please? At least 5, not 6. Please give me 6 Mythics. Hello? Hello? Ariel? Is that you? Yes! Hello! You... Wait, <laughs> I should be... I'll share my screen. I'll share I, my think screen. I, I think I did see you. No, it's okay. I want to say hi. I don't want to disturb you. I'm working. <laughs> no, you're not disturbing at all. I'm just gonna share it there. Because I'm opening a box right now. I know, I saw. Kaldheim, yeah. right? Yeah, Kaldheim. Just looking for angels, actually. Got in just... Three mythics so far. Oh, Hi. there's iron. Oh, it's not a mythic. It's Egon, God of Death. Frost Augur. Fearless Pop. We're down to our last eight packs. We still don't have our fourth mythic. Doesn't look oh. so good. You're gonna get it. So good. I love the art in this set, though. Really great art. Especially the lands. The lands are. Always nice to have. Where are my angels? Dual Strike, Fire Giant Fury, another Realm Walker. Don't really need this since I already have two copies of this. <laughs> As extend. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! It's extended art. Wow! Oil. <laughs> Quake Bringer. Oh God! You know. The last mythic we got is an extended art quick bringer, and then we got another one. This time, foil. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, sir Gary, thank you, Watsi. Now, just just two more, and we have a full set. <laughs> Give me two more. <laughs> so that's our fourth mythic. Yeah, that's our fourth mythic. We're gunning for six now, since we've gotten a fourth one. Still have lots of opportunity since we still have six packs. Wait, let me just clean up my table. It's getting crowded here on my desk. Okay. Opening a new pack. There's another foil snow covered mountain. Fearless Pop. Ice High Troll. Yada yada, Invasion of the Giants. Oh! Ooh, a fifth mythic. Mythic, Congrats. all red I'm red here. of Cosmos. Actually, really love this card. <laughs> really love this card because of the Hacka Whispering Raven. Gives lots of value, especially if this card is your commander. It lets you scry, so it gives you control over what cards you're drawing early in the game. And all red get out of Cosmos for late game. Really good card. And then another showcase card, Harald King of Scamfar. I've already seen in this card earlier. I'm gonna place this here. 
a foil rare card and then we have spring jack shepherd from the list Ooh. actually the first time i've seen this card chroma also the first time i've seen this uh what they call this i think that's that's, that's lorwin e is it uh when spring jack or dire tide comes into play put a zero one white goat creature token to play for each white mana symbol in the mana costs of permanence you control i can't remember what that's called <laughs> what's what's chroma I, I don't get it it's just enter the battlefield effect uh that effect no i think it's a it's a specific one that gives you a zero one ghost i think it's eventide this is from eventide eventide never heard of that set even <laughs> it was one of the best it was with lorwin seriously how come i've never heard of it when they yeah. discuss best cards a uh, best sets so covered mountain wings of the cosmos god's whole guardian yada 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 scar oracle revitalize certland frostpire eager the freezing flame <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so lucky. <laughs> Thank you, Ariel. You, you came over here and you got like three <laughs> mythics in a row. Boring Collects, <laughs> the most expensive card in the set. Although, you know, more expensive if it's foil and if it's the correction text version. But I'll, I'm happy to have just this. You know, I won't be very demanding. <laughs> Not to be greedy. Okay last four packs still room for two more <laughs> oh as a side note i checked what chroma is and it was the initial version of devotion yeah so, I, I thought it was kind of uh, like devotion because it uh the white mana symbol text is mm -hmm, mentioned there yep. so this came before Paris. a very very Far away from Pharos. <laughs> Basalt, Ravager, Frost, Agar, Room for Champion for Rare, Boreal, Outrider, Foil, Blood on the Snow. I'm not sure if that's expensive, but that's a really useful card. Blood on the Snow. Have you been playing MTGA? No, I have not. <laughs> oh, Kaldheim's really nice for standard. Very bad to draft, though. Oh, God. I, the only version I play is Draft. <laughs> Battlefield Raptor, Invoke the Divine, Avalanche Caller, Replicating Ring, Spella Ice Shaper. Are these... Have I been passing up uh, showcase cards without knowing it? Battle of no Frost idea. and Fire. Kovari, Ooh. God of Kinship, and Maha. Yeah, this card is really crazy in the right deck. Celestia, you know, tokens deck. So powerful. Actually synergizes well for Zendikar cards because this goes also in Land Matters decks. It goes out of hand if you don't take care of it fast. So when are oh, you wow. coming back to Magic, Ariel? Or, or have you quit <laughs> permanently? Um, no, no, I'll come back probably. Mostly EDH and Draft maybe. I miss or sealed. Draft though. Me too. If, if, and that's one big if. Oh, there's another pathway. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the pathways. Love the pathways. If, and this is a big if, LaRuan mm -hmm. opens again anytime soon. Will you come over and play? Sure, if, it, if I can fit it. <laughs> In your I schedule, you mean? Scred, yeah, is I... this a good card? It's a, an instant one to cast red card. Scred deals damage to target creature equal to the number of snow permanency control. Ooh, interesting. But I think Snow Tribal decks are mostly black and blue. So putting that in red, I'm not so sure if it's that useful. Okay, the last card in our first set booster box. Is there another box? Oh yeah, I have another box. Damn, calm down. <laughs> you know, <laughs> more chances of winning. <laughs> more entries, right. more chances of winning. Uh, provoke the trolls. Rise of the Dread Morn. Furious, furious retribution. 
Priest of the Haunted Edge, and a Foil Search for Glory. Alright, so that's for our first box. I'm just gonna get rid of these shafts. <laughs> where's my where's my trap alright you go here and then we're going right into our second box oh shit let's not waste time it's late at night <laughs> <laughs> let's get down to business anyway, I was really sad about the about uh what's his name jimmy wong being in mulan oh god i was like, i was gutted he's he was so proud of it but everyone hated it and he's so sad about it i, I watch a video uh from from their channel it's like really really sad about the backlash mm -hmm. it's just saying guys we worked hard for it please at least watch <laughs> it before you know before talking about it but you know I think the backlash was because of the main actress who played Mulan. Yeah, it was because of the main actress. And it's so weird because um, he's such a huge activist online, especially about politics. And suddenly he's really quiet about this one where basically the main actress was, um, you know, I don't want to say it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shan sent us 10 stars. Thank you, Shan, and also reminded us to drink water. I have coffee here. That's my water. Coffee. <laughs> coffee. Please drink water. <laughs> water doesn't keep you awake. Coffee does, so... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, our next box. So again, 30 packs fresh from Sir Gary's hands. Oh, actually, before we go for these next a uh, pile of cards oh crap my my bed is so messy now because of all of these cardboard lying around ah what do we do we open one promo pack from caldime and one from Zendikar rising just to see what's inside so let's do this you know just to increase our odds of getting a Vorian Clex mm -hmm. in the next packs we're gonna open these and these cards will be worthless I'm calling it. And that increases our odds of getting good cards in this box. <laughs> <laughs> a stamped throne of Mackindy. Uh, useless. Roiling regrowth. Uh, useless. And Blacklands Paragon. Useless. I told you. I told you. Useless <laughs> cards. Goes there. Oh wait. Where are my rares? You go there. Here. You go there. And then for the Kaldheim promo pack, you know the cards feel flimsier this time around. I don't know. They probably oh, change. Switch back again. from the Japanese ones. They don't feel like the Japanese ones. These feel like flimsy, but not quality. Oh. What's this? Was well, that drink water? Oh, Ariel also sent thirty stars. <laughs> Thank you, Ariel. Oh, this sure. one's useful. Shatter the sky. Stamp yeah. shatter the sky. Uh, a stamped strategic plan, yeah, I guess that's kind of useful, but eh. and a stamp reckless grew, but it's damaged on this on the cor corner. She doesn't matter because no one's gonna buy this card anyway. <laughs> Useless card. Okay, so that ups our odds of opening mm. nice cards in the next box. All right, let's do this first pack. I'm already passing over all of the common. Oh, uh, no, all of the art cards because I think I've already gotten all oh. of them. Depart the realm. Na 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 na. Oh, is it all blue? Purple. Is that how it works? Oh, a what? All blue? No, no I, yeah. I think that was just a coincidence. A coincidence. Oh. Ooh, dark oh, dark or pathway alternate art. Oh no, sorry. I, um, what do you call these? Extended, Extended art. Extended art. Yeah. Look at that. Really That's nice. That's so nice. I've been collecting pathways and they're really nice to look at, at in my binder. Oh wow. Foil. Oh, yeah. Wait, actually, you have a good point because earlier I saw I had a pack that had angels mm -hmm. like four in a row and they're all black. So probably oh. I just wasn't 
observant enough to see these uh, what do you call this patterns so uncolored blue 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 oh you, you see, I, I it's think uh, you're right that's so weird skulkairn drugger's helm red black red green uh wait where have i been putting my tokens ah uh, goes here Oh, look at that. Nice art. Useless card though. <laughs> Foil. And there you go. Again, thanks for the stars, guys. We have a long way to go before I can monetize this channel, but I don't mind. <laughs> but yeah, still thanks for the stars. Snow Covered Island, Mist of Litar. See, it's all See, blue. It's all look blue. at that. Wow, you're very observant. How come I didn't notice that? Shepherd of the Cosmos, so there's our Angel, Mystic Reflection for a rare, Priest of the Haunted Edge, and a Vault Robber. I guess I'll just pile up the commons with the tokens because they're practically the same. What do you call this? They're, um, they're the cards where you write swamps or islands when you're out of basic lands during the draft. Skull rate. See, it's all black. You're right. Yeah, that's Valkyrie weird. sword. Beautiful Valkyrie. Starnheim Asp. And it's all angels related. Toski, Bear of Secrets, really good in draft. Not so much anywhere else. Ooh. Okay. Getting confused with all of these piles. No mythics so far from our first pile. If I get a Voring Plex, I think a Voring Plex foil correction text goes for 12,000 right now each. Wow. So I get one, I'll buy myself more coffee. <laughs> or Rampage water. Of the Valkyries, <laughs> Great Hall of Starnheim, Ascent of the Worthy. In Search of Greatness, I, I, I really had high hopes for this card, but it's not really performing that well. Big of the Watcher, Finn the Fangbearer. Yeah, I think it's a good decision for you to skip Kaldheim Draft because one of its biggest problems is it's hard to, mm -hmm. uh, what do you call this? To color fix in this set. There's not a lot of fixers. Uh huh. Even if you have these uh, double colored two colored lands it's just mm -hmm. that they're all tapped when they enter the battlefield so kind of oh it makes it makes them hard to use it's v i just passed by to oh, say v. Hi, v. good luck on your pulse kind sir I oh resplendent uh, hi there's another hello mythic. wait marshall is a mythic see you guys Goodbye. bye oh gosh congrats Resplendent Marshall is a mythic, so we got seven mythics in our first box after all. I just mm -hmm. didn't know that it was a mythic. Let's go find it. Let's... where is it? Where is it? There you are. So we have two Resplendent Marshalls now. Wow, I think I can build an actual Mono White Angel's Tribal Standard deck. If... <laughs> Please don't do it. <laughs> oh, it's working. It's working on MTGA at oh. the very least. Well, not mono white. It has to be Esper. <laughs> <laughs> mono white is, you know, any format. It's unless it's um, there. There are some life gain matters decks that work mm -hmm. if you're very aggressive, but most of the time they don't. The last time it worked was when a Johnny's Pride Meat was in standard, but nowadays not that good. Vengeful Reaper. There's another Angel Cosima. Nice artwork, by the way. That looks great. Look at that. Oh, speaking of Vikings, Ariel, I think it's time for you to join us. Valheim, right? I heard. Yeah, and play Valheim. It's really good <laughs> game. I wish I could. What do you mean you wish you could? Well, if you start a new game and I join like, just the first few hours of it because I only play on the weekends. Oh, that's fine. I I'll miss on a lot of. I'll miss out on a lot of things. <laughs> I. S yeah, I, I, I guess I understand the concern. 
uh, I also I, I, I actually feel very jealous of our friends who get to play it like yesterday <laughs> their session was 16 straight hours and I'm like how the heck do they find the time and energy to do that I joined them for just like four hours and I was like guys I'm tired uh, I gotta yeah, quit yeah same <laughs> that would be me that would be me but I'd play like, like two hours and I'd be like please can we play this next time again but <laughs> Not, any, so, not now. <laughs> they're so committed to the game. Oh, there's our next mythic, Orvar the All Form. It's a shape Oh character. god! It's I like that name. card a lot. You know, I saw this work out in um, Command Knights. You know, the latest one where, uh, where miraculously Jimmy Wong won? Like, that never happens. But this card was used. <laughs> this, this card was used to like uh, with Sakashima and make lots of that. Mm -hmm. What's that? What's that card? It's a Hydra thing that makes tentacles. I, oh God! I, I wish I knew. I haven't seen that card yet. Yeah, I, I wish you knew. <laughs> I wish I knew. Oh, but oh, that card's really share. interesting for me. Nice. Excel that was a staple. In okay. um. Ah, oh, God! I can't remember. It was FF. This I can't is Commander remember. Nineteen. Yeah, but it, it was it was first released before that. The first time the first time they released um that concept. Oh, I wish I could remember. <laughs> Fate foretold, I think. I, I wish I knew. <laughs> yeah, Fate to, Yeah, to it borrow, was Fate to foretold. borrow from your... oh, no. oh, Darius yeah, yeah. Savagera, thank you for the follow. Oh, see it's all green now. Arnie. It's our first Arnie. I really love his lore. Like he headbutted a satyr, and then the horn just stuck on his head and just kept it there like a trophy. <laughs> what the badass! Smashing success foil or root runner. Sacrifice root runner. Put target land on top of its owner's library. Uh, it's from Kamigawa. Kamigawa. Lots of weird yeah. creatures from this set. I'm not even sure if this is useful. Like what? What um, situation would you want to sacrifice a tree tree and spend two mana just to put the land on top of its owner's library? <laughs> Some jank stuff. What, what is soul shift? <laughs> when this is put into a graveyard from play, you may return target spirit card. Oh, okay. With converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to your hand. So you can also use it to fish out a spirit from your from your graveyard. Snow covered mountain, broken wings, ice hide troll. We still haven't gotten any other um, planeswalker aside from Kea. We got Kea from Grass. Yeah, we got Kea. It's the first mythic we got from this set. Another Ooh. rogue walker. So I get. I, I, I guess I have a full set now. Circle elementalist and a foil Ooh. rise of the dread marn. That was three rares. Yeah, two rares in a row. You can actually have three mythics in a row in the same pack from set booster packs. The next one will be three mythics. I oh, I it. wish. I wish. <laughs> if that happens, if that happens, Red, if you're there, I'm gonna eat the foil card if that happens. <laughs> foil, snow-covered forest, ice hide troll, arachnoform. Yeah, it's all It's all green again. And then all white. And now all white. Agar, the freezing flame. Varagoth, really good. End draft, Narfi, Ooh. nice artwork though. Yeah. Spectral Steel. Oh, another. Oh, wow. Another the list card. It's a calming Lissid. Summon Lissid. <laughs> Remember when creatures were called summons? Um, yep. <laughs> it's two and a white, two, two. And white and tap, calming Lissid loses this ability and becomes a creature enchantment that reads enchanted creature cannot attack instead of a creature. Move this is oh so it it it's a it's a bound in gold on legs I guess yeah it's a this is from uh, stronghold stronghold really yeah. old set oh are uh were you playing when time spiral went out oh no 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 That's I started a really playing long time ago. Yeah, I started playing the first iteration Sorry, of I, I, Zendikar. I, I don't think we knew how to read back then. 
Yeah. So then the sure car if, and world weight. I'm not sure if I'm gonna push push through buying a Time Spiral Remastered because I'm not sure if it's worth it. Like, if all of mm. the cards there are reprints, then I probably should just buy singles. Unlike here, these are all new cards, so I don't mind spending on it. Did have they released what what cards are going to be in the set? In Time Spiral. It's yeah. Exactly the same cards oh. as the original Time Spiral. Oh. I think, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, triplicate spirits. Convoke. M15. Four to a mm. four white and a white put three one one white spirit creature tokens with flying onto the battlefield. This goes well into an Elenda or a Tesa deck, I think. <laughs> so that fits into one of my decks at the very least. You know, I miss Brawl. We used to play a lot of Brawl yeah. in UPGG, but then it died. It died because it rotates. You know, what a lousy reason for it to die. But stuff that like that happens when uh, I don't know when. When does that happen? <laughs> you play standard. <laughs> What's up, Mister Friends? Hello, hello, hello. Wait, why can't I see his commenting? Oh, it's it's Ivanova. Hi, hi Ivanova. Doesn't look like magic cards, says Shan. What? Oh, you mean the showcase cards? Yeah, I guess you can say that. They really don't look like your typical magic cards. No covered planes. Corsair, stalwart angel goes here in our angel pile. Funeral boat. Um, blessing of frost. Mm -hmm. Ingarunais. A foil mystic reflection. That's really nice. Foil. Foil rares have become really common nowadays. Mm -hmm. There's something wrong with that sentence. <laughs> no, no, no. Really, they've become more common because they've increased the odds of you pulling a foil. So that also affects mm -hmm. the rares. So <laughs> rare foils have become more common. Yeah. <laughs> Replicate all white. Bella, showdown of the scalds, Morit of the frost, Cinder Heart Giant. Ooh. The pile of trash is piling up. Of course. It decides. The music I'm playing is almost over. I have to loop it. There you go. Ice tunnel? Oh, wait, what? It's a stamp art card. Ooh. So they didn't get to get the signature of Daniel Jungren. That's sad. <laughs> Bound in gold, shadows of treachery, ruthless you, Arnie slays the troll, hot mm. bolts, lumber mound, provoke the trolls, battle for Bretagard, shimmer drift veil, undersea invader. Come on, where's our mythics, man? Give me a, give me a. What's the name of the androgynous character they added in the set? God, I wish I knew. Uh, yeah, I wish you knew. <laughs> <laughs> Foil, snow covered planes, axe guard cavalry, all red cards, grave and lore. Old growth troll. It's actually really good also in draft. It's very cheap and it's 4 4. Sculptor of Winter, Dread Rider. Where where are the exciting cards? Where's our third Where's our third resplendent marshal? Or our third Quake Bringer? Come on, give me another one of these, please. It's in the pack with three mythics. It's in the pack with three mythics. Yeah, let's believe. Yeah. If we get, get one, one of those, I'm gonna eat a mythic foil on screen. <laughs> well, not a Stop. mythic foil. I'm gonna eat a, a foil card in general. No particular rarity. Just a foil card. All red. And then we have a Bretagard here, Bretagard Stronghold, Blood on the Snow, Icebreaker Ooh. Kraken, another Vega the Watcher. Ooh. Ah. I wish I knew what these cards did. 
I didn't study this set. <laughs> it's fine. It's really bad for draft. So I, I, I think he just did the right decision. Oh, look at that. It's all red, blue Boros. Oh, there you go. This oh, is the androgynous wow. character I was talking about. The Planeswalker. I like that card. Mythic, Nico Aris. X, white, blue, and a blue. You know, you don't usually see an X casting cost for Planeswalker. So this is special already just because of that. It's like having a kicker. So when Nico Aris enters mm -hmm. the battlefield, create X shard tokens. They are enchantments with pay two mana. Sacrifice these enchantments. Cry one, then draw a card. His plus one is up to one target creature you control can be blocked this turn. Whenever that creature deals damage this turn, return it to its owner's hand. Her number minus one is Nico Aris deals two damage to target tapped creature for each card you've drawn this turn. And then their last minus one is create a shard token. It starts with three loyalty. It's a very Azorius card. Uh, deals damage yeah. to tapped creatures, allows you to scry and draw, and makes useless enchantments. <laughs> if you're selling that, I'm buying. Oh sure! Woohoo! Another foil mythic! Oh wow! <laughs> Thoralf God Congrats. of Fury. It's also a model card. And at the back, it gives you the Thoralf's hammer. This is like their mm -hmm. version of Thor in Kaldheim. Ooh, oh. We got lots of foil mythics. And a Cadaverous Knight. Summon Knight, Flam King. Oh, remember Flam King? <laughs> There's a reason why we don't have that mechanic anymore. It first came out on that Chinese set. I can't remember what Three it was Kingdoms. called. Three Kingdoms. It's the only oh. Chinese set. Or, the, wait. There's a more recent Chinese set, the Global Series, with Mu Yan Ling and. Um, ah, that guy yeah, with the, the, yeah, the two uh, planeswalkers. Divine Gambit, Tricksters, Birgi. Oh, that, that that previous pack had two mythics, so that was just just one short of me eating a foil card on the stream. <laughs> we, we're almost so there, cool. Red. We're almost there. Marauding Raptor for our the list. You know, it really irks me that they're putting more recent cards in the list. Like, it beats the point mm. of having the list at all. Watsy, please fix it. Or Hasbro. I think you should be complaining to Hasbro instead of Watsy. For that, so covered island, Litarja, yeah, 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 all this blue stuff, Shimmer Drift Veil, Path to the World Tree, Three Seasons, Search for Glory, Replicating Ring, Strategic Planning, yada, yada, yada. Our last pile, let's do this. <laughs> yeah, let's just throw off these plastic. How many mythics for this set? What do you mean? For this box? For this How box many so mythic? far, yeah. we have yeah. had Thoralf, Nicar Aris, Orvar, Resplendent Marshall. This came earlier. Uh, why are you here? Okay, so we've only gotten four so far. Four. Four Damn, so you far. You got seven five, a while six, ago? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, seven and then four. So I guess here yeah. in our last pile, we're getting all the good stuff. <laughs> the three mythics. The, the, the three mythic pack. <laughs> the Franz Eats Foil Cards Pack. I'm gonna down it with coffee. If that water. Oh, oh, water. Oh, Burning Rune Demon. Another great card to pick up in draft. I'm not sure if people have found a way to incorporate this card in any other formats. But it's really nice. Mythic. And the uh. Hench Gate Pathway. Frostbite. Okay, so today I don't think today's the day that you're gonna see myself eating a foil card on stream. <laughs> Sorry, Red. <laughs> Sorry, Red. I don't know why he keeps on asking me to eat foil cards on stream. Like, is that a fetish of Red's? If I do that, is he going to sleep, like, smiling? I don't know. <laughs> oh, Pyre of Heroes. Another card. Uh, one of the first cards revealed in this set. It's like Birthing Pod. Ariel, but it, oh. it it cares about the creature type, so it only works for mm. tribal decks. Unless you're full of changelings, I guess. There are decks like that. Morita the Frost, Feed the Serpent, Foil, Birthing Pod. Th there was a time when that was a broken card. It was. 
I remember very clearly. <laughs> okay, snow covered swamp. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Nico device. Calamity Barrel, also another good card for draft. You know, you can actually do Giant Strival in draft if you're lucky enough. Blizzard Brawl, Valor of the Worthy, and Flame of Kelt. Come on, Dominaria? Or seriously? <laughs> And even one of the worst cards from Dominaria. Why do you put that in the list, Watsi? So sad. Thank you, Casey, for the share. If you want to join us? We're here at the UPGG Discord, the public channel. Oh, there's our troll. Snow covered mountain. Droggers. Gate of Istfel. Kolvari, God of Kinship. I've already seen this before. Pilfering Hawk and an Arachno form foil. Mm. We're How down many packs to our left? Two, four, six. Six more packs and mm. two more promo packs. Okay. A lot of chances. Lots of chances. I, I hope from the promo pack we get a mythic or something. Uh, yeah, there, three there. mythics. <laughs> three mythics. There's only. Yeah, there, there are three cards, so three out of three. Is that possible? I'm not sure. Yeah. But sure yeah in the wise words of red Ravens not with warning. that mindset um oh not in that not with that mindset <laughs> I, i've been also trying to find a way to make this card work you know wish decks mm -hmm. uh, decks that gets cards from your sideboard this does I that am. but i'm not sure how to make it work i tried doing it in jessica it doesn't work i'll run that's our other mythic so there are three more cards. Are they all mythic? Ah, uh, no, they're not no. all mythic. Fury, Freya, Judge of Valor, and Huggy Mob. Okay, so that's... I think that's five mythics so far for this pack. Uh, for this box. Arun, mm -hmm. Burning Rune Demon, Toralf, Nicor Aris, Ovar, and Resplendent. Uh, that's two, four, six. That's six already. Nice. That's not nice. Why? How much? How many do we want? We need we we need it to stay at four so that the odds of getting three in a row in the same pack <laughs> is high. But now since we already got six, that means we have very low chances of that happening. Sorry, Red, not eating a foil card tonight. Hashtag don't eat foil cards. Drogger Necromancer, Sculpture of Winter, Drogger Thought Thief, and uh, yeah. Actually, didn't check how much these cards are because <laughs> watching videos about Kaldheim and everyone, all of the magic influencers on YouTube saying how low the value of the cards are really demotivated me. So I haven't been checking. I just know Varinclex is worth a lot. That's that's all I know mm. about this set in terms of pricing. So Maybe just... it's one of those sets where everything gets more expensive with the set that follows it. Uh, I, I do hope so. And then another, look at those yeah. showcase cards, they really look nice. It's so nice. Icebind Pillar, Sculpture of Winter, Foil. Oh no, come on, we're down to our last three packs. <laughs> uh, I, I hope we get just at least one more. One more Mythic so that we got seven and seven. That would have that would be amazing. Tyrite Sanctum for a rare. Another showcase card. Death Nail Berserker. Oh dear, Aww. last two packs. Last two packs. Here we go. Uh Tibot Streakery. Oh how come we've opened <laughs> so many packs and we haven't even gotten a single card a uh, single Tibot Streakery? It's because it's banned. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Speak of the devil and the devil appears. And a literal devil at that. He bought trickery. And He's then, an uh, imp. Is he a, an imp? Is he not the right? devil? I, I thought I he think was so. a devil. Run Shibab. ashore. And a forced fruition. I think this is uh, this one. Oh yeah, he Korea? is a devil. Whenever Tibalt an opponent plays a spell, that player draws seven cards? What the F? Yep. Yeah. But Look isn't, at that. doesn't this like 
benefit your opponents first because you play this you don't you tap out all of your mana and then your opponent gets to enjoy it first i'm not sure I, I remember people use this for like uh sphinx's tutelage decks what does that do against sphinx's tutelage uh for every card you draw your enemy mills too oh and, and if they have matching colors you, they mill again so it's like psychic corrosion it's crazy yeah Oh, I'm a tutelage class. fan. <laughs> I uh, not vol recluse, giant grass, dual strike. Oh look, Fire but that one has different colors. Yeah, oh, you're right. That's um, so weird. I'm not so sure what's up. Maybe it's just printing error. Certain yeah. crossfire. <laughs> oh, another great card. You know, I've I've been seeing this. Uh, read. I I know you're not familiar with the card, so I'm gonna read it. Immersed yeah. Predator, two black and a red. It's a creature, vampire dragon with 3 3. It's mm -hmm. flying. Whenever Immersed Term Predator becomes tapped, exile up to one target card from a graveyard, from a graveyard, and put a plus, oh, one, plus one counter on Immersed Term Predator. And then sacrifice another creature, Immersed Term Predator gains indestructible until end of turn. Tapped it. So, like, wow. just becomes bigger and bigger, uh, stronger the later you play it in the game. And then stronger with more permanents you have on board. It's almost impossible to kill without a XL card, so it's really tough to deal with, especially in draft, because you, you don't really get a lot of opportunities. Wow, and it's a rare. To get XLs. Oh, and look. It's just a rare. Cyclone Summoner. It's also a nice card. Five blue and mm -hmm. a blue. Creature Giant Wizard, 7 7. When Cyclone Summoner enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, return all permanents to their owner's hands except for giants, wizards, and lands. You remember oh. that card? Um, yeah, the, the card? Kraken thing, The right? Kraken thing from... Was it Excellent or Dominaria? Oh, God, I this wish I could a, remember. This is a better version of that card. <laughs> Sir Jerry Garcia, thank it's you a seven, for seven. us good luck. We've had good luck so far. Pilfering Hawk. And then King Harold's Revenge. Well, that's it for our set booster boxes, but we still have two promo packs to open. Okay, fine. If we get at least two mythics from these two, then I don't know. What do I do, Ariel? Do I drink water? Yeah, drink water. Uh, yeah, I'll drink water if we get two mythics <laughs> <laughs> from these two packs. All right. You, you should drink water even if you don't get the mythics. I don't know. Coffee's life, bro. So hard to pull them out of the pack. Oh, Temple of Abandon. I don't mind getting this card. I always Mythic. love getting lands. Poison oh, the Cup. Shoot. This is one of the best removal spells in Kaldheim. Destroy target creature. Is it creature. Three to cast? Three to cast, but it's one black and a black. Destroy target creature. If this spell was foretold, scry two. You, you're aware of foretell, right? Yeah, it's it's like the trap card from Yu Gi Oh! Yeah, <laughs> trap card from Yu Gi Oh! So it's one of the best removal spells. That's really good, set. yeah. Oh! Oh! We got our first one! <laughs> oh no, Ariel. Oh no. <laughs> I might just That's drink so... water. Star Knight Unleashed. This is also another card that uh, you put in Angel's Tribal deck. It's two white and a white. It's a sorcery. Mm -hmm. Create a 4 4 white angel warrior creature token with flying and vitriol. So basically, you create a star angel. If this spell was foretold, create X of oh, those shit. tokens instead. So if you foretell X, X, it, XX white. <gasps> yes, sir. So for using five mana, you get two Sar Angels. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you get two Sar Angels for five mana. If you spend seven mana, you get three, three. Sar Angels, and it's like this is one of the best trap cards out there. That's so great. I really love this card, especially when it goes off. And your opponent doesn't have a board white, just calls GG at the end of your turn. Flying Vigilance. Flying draft, Vigilance 4-4. Four fours. Hello. <laughs> okay, next set. Oh, Skyclave next Operation. Oh, okay. Really useful. Used in modern. Cargan War Leader. Oh. Is the next one a mythic? Do I drink water tonight or not? It's oh, not. it's just a rare. Linden. Yeah. Oh, I like Linden, but not a good card. Um, it's okay. You, you have fringe um, life uh, life game matters decks that use Linden, yeah. but yeah, you, you know mono white scrap. So yeah, that's <laughs> it. We have fourteen <laughs> mythics from two boxes and four promo packs. We have Starnheim Unleashed that is 
um, stamp. All Rune, God of the Cosmos, Burning Rune Dragon, Torelf, God of Fury, that's Foil, Nico Aris, that Ar Ariel Dibs 2, or Orvar, the All Form, Resplendent Marshal, Two of these, Warren Clex, All Rune, God of the Cosmos, a Quick Brainer Extended Art, Foil, Quick Brainer Extended Art, Non Foil, Ezekiel, God of the Tree, Kaya, the Inexorable, and other Resplendent Marshal. So I think it's really good howl. Especially it is since very I've been good. looking for angels, we got the Starnheim Unleashed and two Resplendent Marshals. We also get the most expensive card is set. So I don't think we could have uh, done any better. At least this one of the best box openings we've had in this channel. Especially since we had such a disappointing box opening. Last time we opened the Mystery Booster box, it's a nice way to bounce back. So yeah. Thank you very much for tuning in our stream tonight. Thank you, Ariel, for the stars and for you know accompanying me here tonight. It's really nice to hear your voice again. Talk about magic after a long time because we have <laughs> we have just been talking about work all the time. We've been talking, so yeah, really Yay. nice of you to drop by. So it's going to be, to be <laughs> it for tonight. Um, it's already Friday. So I'm gonna plug, just gonna plug that tomorrow, Saturday, we're gonna be continuing our Age of Calamity live stream. And then on Sunday, it's going to be Resident Evil Zero again. Uh, if you haven't seen the Nintendo Direct this morning, you can watch my live reaction live stream video on YouTube and on here on my page in Facebook. If you haven't seen it yet, you can watch it here. It's a one hour video with lots of interesting announcements for the Nintendo Switch. There are new content for Age of Calamity, um, a new Splatoon game coming up, and an old Ooh. Legend of Zelda game coming up on the Switch. So there are a lot of interesting things for you to see there if you haven't seen it yet. Or if you're, if you're lazy to watch a video, just go search it up. There's lots of articles about it right now. And I think you, if you, if you have a Nintendo Switch, really worth looking it up. So yeah, that's going to be it tonight for tonight. Thank you very much, guys. See you again tomorrow.